This is Brother Barnes, kind of your study partner. You might could say that. We're just learning about biology and science and stuff like that. It's good to be together. An explanation for a set of observations might be called this. What would you say here? By the way, the observations, and perhaps including the hypothesis, could be part of an inductive reasoning process. And the idea in inductive reasoning is you use powerful true statements with the idea that perhaps a less inclusive conclusion could be supported. And I might talk about this more and explain, uh, elaborate. I, one elaboration I will make is if you say all or most and then you have a conclusion that says some, then you most likely can support a conclusion that says some when you've already proven that all or most of these things are true, leading to the conclusion, which is not really this set of information here. I'm just kind of imagining it, imagining it all in my head. A comprehensive idea that is supported by evidence is called this. Notice that I said supported. I didn't say proven by the evidence. I said supported. Why do I want to get into talking about that? Because Supported is different than deductive logic. Deductive logic is where that you state a truth and you state another truth. It doesn't have to be more than one, but you state a premise that, that leads to an undeniable truth in the conclusion. That is deductive logic. 